back to Houston Life. Now, our next guest, you may recognize them from Broadway, television, and even the big screen. They are so talented, and they happen to be married, huh? Singing, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Please welcome Jessica and Santino Fontana. Take it away, and we'll talk to you after the song. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a Jessica and Santino Fontana. Guys, this is beautiful. awesome. So you're super talented. I bet you guys have the most fun parties, sing-alongs <laughs> at your home, right? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do sometimes. Sometimes we do. Not always. So yeah. you guys just got married. You got married last September. Yes. Can you tell us how you guys met? Oh. We were, uh, we were both singing at this club called Birdland in New York. It's a jazz club, and we were both singing in the same concert. So we met that night. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so people, I, I still don't know how you guys keep up with your busy schedule. You start in Cinderella on Broadway. People, of course, know you as Santino, uh, as Santino, because that's your name, <laughs> um, as Prince Hans in Disney's Frozen. We're actually looking at a picture of your wedding right now oh, yeah. on the screen. So people have seen your work in, in TV shows like the Jennifer Lopez Shades of Blue that's right here. That's where this here. jacket is from. No. You stole it from the wardrobe department. I didn't steal it. I was give, I died. So they gave it to me in the show. I died. So they gave it to me as a gift. It's well, my fitted leather jacket. So between Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and all these different shows, Broadway, TV, film, how do you two find time to be newlyweds? Uh, we probably spend more time together than people think. I mean, right now we're working together, so that gives us a lot of time. Yes. Um, yeah, we spend a lot of time together, which is great. And we <laughs> like working together, and we like... That's why we got married, because we like each other. So. By the way, we're looking right now at some of the pictures from some of the shows. That oh, Crazy X, yeah. <laughs> um, and Gonzo, so you brought these guys in because they have a performance this weekend, right? Yes, Very Merry Pops, and it starts tonight. So can you talk to us about that? Yeah, tonight at 8 o'clock at Jones Hall here in Houston, and then tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and then Sunday, 2.30, and at 7.30, you can get tickets at HoustonSymphony.org. Yes. We'll sing yeah. all of your favorite Christmas songs and some that you might not have heard. And maybe something from Frozen. Maybe something from Frozen, I really? Mean, yes. Hans. And I've got to ask you, Prince Hans. So people sort of have a love-hate relationship with you, not just in that order. the film, but yeah. you're a nice guy at the beginning of the movie. That's the love part. That's the love part of the relationship, and the hate part is the second act, the second half. <laughs> so talk to us about Frozen. I mean, a lot of people love that movie. It's I great. Love it. It's you know, on the way over here, there was a little girl with a backpack, a Frozen backpack, and I'm always tempted to just walk over and no. yeah, I know, but I never do. <laughs> And Have you ever done line. that, though? No, but I went to Disneyland, and there's a whole picture series of me behind the little girls dressed as Elsa, <laughs> just being like, 
<laughs> I have a secret, yeah, but I don't ever, I never tell them. They don't really get it. Mm -hmm. It's very confusing for a child to hear my voice, but coming out of my. Oh, I'm sure because they don't you get don't it. look like Prince Hans. You look quite no. different. So you're both very. We know you have the the show coming up this weekend. We're going to put the details on the screen just so people make sure they have all the info. Again, that's tonight at 8 p.m., Saturday at 8, Sunday at 2:30 and 7:30. Tickets, as you mentioned, Santino, are 25 bucks. Houston Symphony. Org. And after that event is over, what are you guys having co coming up? Are you guys going to be busy all through the holidays, or are you going to take some time off? We have some downtime, yeah. thankfully. Yeah. Yes. We're we have... going on vacation. That's what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> that's what kind of the, these concerts are a great way to kick off the holiday season, and that's what we intend to then go enjoy it with our family. Yeah, yeah. And why don't you tell us where you're going on vacation so people can hide in the Come bushes on. and take secret photos of you? I'm totally kidding. Do you get that? Are you? I mean, are people going to Antarctica with okay. Buzz Aldrin? He set it up. <laughs> and we're just going to go meet up with him. Perfect. Jessica and Santino Fontana. You guys are painfully adorable to look at and to listen to. So thank you so much for coming by Houston Life. And don't forget that you can visit HoustonSymphony.org to go and watch you guys tonight or Saturday or Sunday. Okay, and what do we have coming up next? I believe we have, we have comedian and musician Owen Benjamin, right? He's playing the piano as well. Okay, stick around. outside at our Galveston cam. Oh, it looks a little hazy and foggy, so perfect time to check in with KPRC meteorologist Justin Stapleton for a check of the weather. Hey there, Justin. Hey, hey Justin. what's happening, guys? Hi, Steph. Guess what? Uh, hazy, what? yes. Cloudy, <laughs> yes. It is going to be wet this weekend. This is what we've been talking about the last couple of days. We're looking at a substan substantial amount of rainfall that could be falling as we get in towards the weekend. You can see this big batch offshore right now, but starting to fill in across much of the coast. Line. This will be the first of about three waves coming through over the next 48 to 36 or 48 to 72 hours, I should say. And it's all because of this big area of low pressure coming in from the West Coast. It's grabbing onto not only Pacific moisture, but all the Gulf moisture here as well. So temperature wise, we're going to hold in the 60s most of the afternoon and likely be in the low 60s at that, especially as we go overnight tonight. You note that we don't have much of a change, not much of a drop off in those temperatures, but still expected to stay fairly wet. So here's how we're going to break it down. About two to three inches of rainfall each day. Totals could be six inches or more over that three day period. No flooding out there just yet, but there are likely going to be flood watches posted throughout the weekend. And we also have a coastal flood advisory, and that's for high tide. A lot of east winds pushing the water close to the shore there. So we've got a lot of working parts within this as well. And here's how we're going to break it down. We're going to go with some heavy rain starting late tonight. In the Saturday morning, we'll get a bit of a break. Scattered showers Saturday afternoon, another wave late Saturday into Sunday, and then one more that could have a potential for some severe weather with it as well. Sunday night into Monday before we finally start to clear out and look at some more wintry weather. Uh, but still, guys, uh, major impact for all of the events outside this weekend as well. So maybe a good weekend to certainly have some backup plans. Or if you do have to be outside, make sure that you're ready for some pretty wet conditions. Oh, yeah, I got to go pick up some rain boots later today. Tomorrow Justin, too. thank you so much. Now, our next guest is a triple threat. He's an actor, he's a comedian, and on top of all of that, he plays the piano as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Owen Benjamin. Hello. Wow, that's awesome. Hi, everybody. What's going on? Take it away. <laughs> oh, you want me to do comedy? Yeah. I've never done comedy in a mall before. Oh. So uh, I'm going to play you guys a song. This is called Canon and D. I didn't write this song, but women really like this song because they're always like, that's my song for my special day. And that's how people sell women stuff they don't need is that song. And uh, it is the holiday season and we're in a mall. So I'm just letting you guys know that song has cost guys about a trillion dollars. Uh, watch any commercial aimed at women. That song's underneath it. It's like, this Christmas. Give her what she's wanted all year. And women are like, what have I wanted? <laughs> Show her she is the core of your world. Show her that you love her as much today as the first time you saw her. Show her with this double-hearted pendant thing. <laughs> Two hearts welded together by Jane Seymour. Even though she's been divorced five times. But your girl's worth it, isn't she? 
Oh, this wow. Is, you want more? I'll, I'll do a shorter one. It's amazing. Here's it's a quick one. Here's like a quick one. Jewelry commercials. Oh. Why do girls? What's that? What'd you say? Those jewelry commercials. Where like this is exactly like the commercials we're seeing. On oh, TV every right one now. of them because it's it's a quick it's a bait and switch where it's like because women just want to matter which is good but then they're like in order. To show her that she matters, get this thing that looks like an open snake's mouth for six grand. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Beautiful, <laughs> yes. Um, you want more? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this song's called Every Relationship from a Man's Point of View. Why, why are you mad? What did I do? Why won't you talk to me? <laughs> just woke up I can't think of anything I could have done did you have another bad dream about me you had a dream I cheated on you and now you're mad in real life well guess what I had a dream I was getting chased by a clown I'm not mad at clowns Cause I know it was just a dream If you stay mad That means you're crazy Owen Benjamin You guys times. know him from movies like The House Bunny the House Bunny All's uh, Fair so, yeah, Staten Island with a cast of SNL uh, Yeah, the, I was on a sitcom That ended last year called uh, Sullivan and Son on TBS uh, You can go to my website HugePianist.com uh, That's Huge Pianist, pianist. Dot com, just yeah. to clarify. If you pianist. misspell that, things escalate. And also, you started playing the piano when you were two years yeah, old. Yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, he said we didn't have a TV, uh, so that's what I did all day long. That's incredible. Your dad taught you, or you? you yeah, my, my dad's uh, an opera singer, so I, d I, d I just kind of did it all day long. Uh, maybe I'm like a little like something wrong with my brain, but that's all I did. <laughs> yeah, I read that you also you would rehearse for six hours a day? Yeah, that's when I didn't realize it was rehearsing. I just thought that's what people did. <laughs> and now I don't play that much, but uh, I wish I played more. So, so what's coming up for you next? I know this weekend you're in town at Improv Houston. Yeah. Uh, people can, can see you tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. We're gonna put the information actually up on the screen so people can see tonight at 8 and 10.30. Yeah. 7 and 9.30, Sunday at 7.30. Tickets start at just 17 bucks. There's the info right there, the URL on your screen, improv. Oh, they got me pretty cheap. Dot com. So you're going to be busy this weekend here in Houston, but what do you have coming up? Well, Mr. this Irwin month Benjamin? I'm also doing uh, St. Louis, Phoenix, Pittsburgh, and then I go to England and doing a, uh, an arena tour with the Impractical Jokers. Oh, we're doing, I love um, them. Yeah, we're doing 10, 40,000 seat in England and Belfast and Ireland and stuff, so... Uh, it's going to be really good. Are you getting in on any pranks? Uh, well, I've known those dudes since like the MySpace days, you know, so I just know them MySpace. as like, they're just like normal dudes that are so good at showing everyone what normal dudes are like. They just mess with each other and they've yep. been friends since high school. I you know, love it's a good it. time. So based on the, all the projects that you've done, you perform live. I mean, here we have a good crowd today. It's the first for me to, to perform in a, in a mall where no one can hear me. <laughs> I think people can hear you. You know, it's a first for a lot of us performing in a mall. This is cool, though. What are your favorite types of projects, though? Because it seems like you have you worked do it all. with... Like the cast of SNL, that's pretty killer to work with those Yeah, guys. You, know, you toured with Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. No, I've done this for a while. I, my favorite thing to do is just to be around good people, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. Whether it's helping someone move or doing a movie. <laughs> it's like, I just like when people treat each other well. That's awesome. You know, I like drinking a lot of water. Water, H2O. Yeah. H2OK. Okay. Very important. <laughs> Owen Benjamin, you are a very funny guy. Thanks, I love man. your dry sense of humor. And you know what? You are very talented on the piano. So do you want to play us a little something while we go to break? And we'll tell the folks uh, again that they can see you tonight, Saturday, and Sunday at Improv Houston. There again is the info on your screen, improvhouston.com. I'm just going to play the least comedic song ever. Oh, no. You're going to leave us on the downer this. there. That's a serious face. 